Here we are, Friday morning to George's Market, Belfast, banned fish. Best fish, I'm best obviously in the world. And Jerry's my fish man, I'm gonna have a look around and see what fish. See what he's got in, I say obviously because it's fish, you got it. It's gonna vary on how good it is because so it doesn't last, you bet the day, bad breast. What's this? That's lovely. It's lovely fresh haddock. You can always tell by the beautiful shiny eyes, gills. Yeah, that's lovely. That's a slightly bigger than pen hake, isn't it? What price said there? Again. Beautiful, and it shouldn't smell of fish, you know, it's, it's really nice fresh, you've got an oiliness about it. The kind of stuff you want to eat. They're beautiful, they're kind of like, they're local, they're small season, and they call it locally in our glass. They're kind of like, um, we are covering the sardines, really good. Get some of them on as well. Lovely and fresh. Great salted. Look at that for fresh mackerel. Still got rigor mortis set in. You know, it's another good sign how fresh it is. There we go, guys. It keeps these, it keeps these aside for me the good stuff. Good friends, you can see there's lovely uh, turbot. You can tell by it, nice bit of slime on it. it. Smells just gorgeous, you know. Again, bright eyed, nice red gills, clean, and it doesn't smell. See, it smells salty, like a brainy nearly smell of it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take M2 as well, Jerry. So if you come here and you don't get inspired by this amazing face, it gives me great ideas on what to cook and. Just the menu rates itself, because I said, look, he's got nice hake in, or he's got turbot in, or grilled salmon. You don't do too much with it. Cook it whole, keep it simple, bit of lemon and butter, and that's a winner. Here's morning in Stop Kitchen, just above St. George's Market, and I was downstairs earlier buying some beautiful fish. And uh, that's John Dory, for example. And um, she's going to do a seafood casserole, um, mixed every kind of fish you can get. These are the fish, I like to keep them on hold on the bone. So when they're cooked, all that flavor goes into the sauce. And uh, we got some lovely John Dory, turbot, hake, our glass herring, monkfish, a couple of crab toes, mussels, a little bit of a vegetables here, some fennel, courgettes, kale, just whatever in season. And we're going to have a bit of char grilled sardo we make and some local tomatoes. And it's quite simple. Again, you vary on what, what fish, but the most important thing is the sauce. So we lovely um, crab, tomato, and shellfish stock. It takes about probably four hours to make. We roast off our bones, get them all in the oven, load of tomatoes, load of water, star anise, fennel, garlic, and let it simmer and strain and bring it down. So that there gives a base for the, the, the shellfish. If you don't have that, you can use chicken stock, fish stock, but work okay. So get our pan nice and hot. This is a lovely, um, Quite easy dish, I like to do. It's, it's nowhere to hide, it's just simple ingredients. Cook with a bit of love, a bit of curse, a bit of salt, a little bit of oil. I say if you're a bit squeamish, you can take the head off, but I ain't got so great, but lovely meat in the cheeks and around the gills and all, and you should be, shouldn't be too shy. These are some lovely flavors around there and around here, around the collar as well. And if you're king, you can have the eggs as well. So, but this is the biggest bit, so always work largest way down, so oil in our pan. And then, moved with a hick, a little bit of butter. Two things go great together. Seafood, butter, works every time. Don't need, to keep, don't need to color too much, just want to get a little bit of, little bit of roast on it. The you think about the butter in the face, that's going to caramelize and help us improve the sauce, so we'll give it a bit of depth. Well, it's only going to take about 
four minutes, five minutes tops. A lot of people overcoat face, it's not a good thing. You want to be a little bit of medium or a little bit of pink still in it. You want to fall apart completely. Just going to flip the John Dory over. I'm sure you can see, look how great that looks. There are monk face. Hermit. And lastly, a bit of space for our. So we're going to pop our our glass herring in. Slips in there. And as well, I'm just going to pop our some crab claws. These have been blanched already. Pop all right. And again, that's just going to add more flavour to the sauce when they open and start roasting a bit. Smells good. Then we'll pop our vegetables in. So, again, gonna keep it quite big. Seem to represent the face, a little bit chunky. So it'll be courgettes. Don't need all this. A little bit of kale. There we go. Get some great these tomatoes in season. They'll go in. And at this stage, we want a bit, got our face nice, bit of color and a bit of lemon juice. It's just going to help caramelize, give you a lot of flavor to the sauce. So it just starts all that lovely brown sediment that you get from roasting. And then we go in with our stock. A couple of little pills. Smells great. Should have that smell of vision. It'll be like, it, it was popper in the oven. Let's take about decent high oven, about 180 degrees Celsius for about four minutes. Should do it. Well, let's do it. We're going to toast up our sardo. Quite simple. Bada ba. Char grill. Just gonna then let the sauce reduce a little bit just so it coats the face so it's not too much soupy, but you ain't gonna plant this sauce, that's what the bread for, that absorbs it all up. It's like a, when you get into at the bottom, that's the best bit. Just gonna plate her up. So, make it go this way, a little easier. Just put it straight on. Now that's a... There we have it. It's market seafood casserole. Easy as, and it's top end. Now that's a gender swan. Could do two for lunch, but that's what I would do me.